This week, the 14850 Dining Report is exploring the challenges of eating a gluten-free diet in the Ithaca area thanks to our friend Mickey Quinn and her experiences eating with celiac disease. Last week, Mickey was looking forward to her weekly trek to her favorite taco spot, where the corn tortillas mean she hasn't had to worry. A sprinkle of cheese rained down and bubbled on the griddle, and then to her horror, freshly cut airy rolls joined the corn tortillas, millimeters away from what would have been her tacos. She had to give up the tacos because the risk of cross-contamination with that bread meant the risk she'd be out of commission for three weeks, digestive issues, migraines, and brain fog that makes everything harder. And because celiac is a disease no one can see, sufferers don't always get the patience or accommodations they need from those around them. The backup plan? A hand pie from a couple doors down where there's always one gluten-free selection available, unless they've run out, which they had. And now Mickey's even sadder that the nearby chicken sandwich joint with gluten-free breading and dedicated fryer has closed. What else? She can't even walk into places like Gorgers or Franco's because of the flour in the air. A walk down the commons and restaurant row reveals lots of spots open just for dinner. More pizza, more sandwiches, extra charges in the few that have gluten-free buns, or plain packaged GF bagels. Mickey tells us she's willing to pay those extra charges if she knows she'll be able to eat safely. She's learned which common commercial items hide sources of gluten, from salad dressings to commercial broths and soups. Most soy sauce, the clumping agent in shredded cheese, even odd things like paper cups and straws. She plans ahead when she's going somewhere new, scouring the menu in advance, calling it off hours to talk with someone about safe choices. Mickey says she has some favorite spots that make her feel safe and make delicious food, like Asia cuisine with glass noodles and no soy sauce, Creekside Cafe sandwiches on gluten-free bread, Fitnell barbecues deliciously smoked meats and a side of pickles, On the streets, delicious meat on a Greek salad instead of a pita, everything is gluten-free at Ixie's Arepas, Even Five Guys and Papa John's train their staff how to handle gluten-free orders. On the sit-down side, Atlas Bowl is the only place she can confidently have a burger on a bun and a side of fries or tots. Bickering Twins has tasty items, and as long as she brings her own chips, she can have the guacamole. Boatyard Grill has many protein and vegetable options. North Star even has gluten-free mac and cheese. She'd love to hear your tips on new celiac-safe places or new dishes at old spots, so comment on our posts. And she appreciates when restaurants and fellow diners understand that avoiding gluten isn't always just a preference. For more, find Mickey's full write-up at 14850.com and find 14850 Dining on Spotify, Amazon Music, and YouTube. With the 14850 Dining Report, I'm Mark H. Anbinder.